This month on City in 15, it's almost outdoor league sports time in Midland. Are you a high school student wanting to travel to Japan? And find out what's happening at the library. All this and more coming up. It's March in the City of Midland. I'm Selena Tisdale here at the City of Midland Parks and Recreation Department, ready to get my sport on for this edition of City in 15. We have a lot to get to this month and we'll do that right after Libby Richard in your C15 headlines. Saturday morning hours resume at the City's Sanitary Landfill on March 2nd. The landfill will be open Saturdays from 8.30 a.m. until noon until the end of November. Weekday hours are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't forget to use the landfill's handy residential drop-off site located near the landfill entrance. Each month, Midland County residents can toss up to three cubic yards of general household or yard waste for free at the landfill. When you arrive at the entrance, be sure to show a current driver's license or property tax bill to verify your Midland County residency. It's not too early to start thinking about ways to keep kids busy this summer. Camp kickoff is the perfect time to find out what's to do in Midland during the warm weather months. Representatives from various Midland organizations will hawk their wares on Saturday, March 23rd during the Midland Center for the Arts annual event. From the city, parks and recreation reps will be on hand to talk swimming lessons, volleyball, softball, and many other outdoor opportunities to keep kids active. And MCTV will be there to promote their video camp for kids. For more on Camp Kickoff, call 631-5930. Check out MCTV's Spring Break Video Camp scheduled for April 1st through the 4th. It's open to kids ages 12 through 17. Contact MCTV for more details at 837-3474. Information on these topics and more can be found on the city's website. Here on City in 15, we keep city news fresh by updating C15 headlines twice each month. Come back to our show in mid-March to hear new news you can use from the City of Midland. Midland teens, are you interested in traveling to another country, learning about a different culture, and having an experience you'll remember for the rest of your life? Then we have an opportunity for you. Up to three area teams will have the chance to take a three-week trip to Japan this summer. Where would you go? Midland's sister city of Honda, Japan. Midland has enjoyed a 30-year relationship with Honda, a town in the southern half of Japan. Through our student exchange program, more than 30 Midlanders have traveled overseas for this rare opportunity. In this year's program, selected students will receive a round-trip airfare to Japan and live with a total of three different host families. You'll check out new foods. Mmm, squid. See beautiful temples that are hundreds of years old. Wow. Participate in customs that are different from your own. Why do people bow in Japan? And learn some Japanese in the process. Konnichiwa. Requirements to apply? You must be a high school student within the city of Midland who will be entering your junior or senior year this coming fall and have at least a 3.0 GPA. You'll need to complete an application and provide three references. Select applicants will be interviewed by Midland's Sister City Committee, which will then choose the students who will board a plane and fly to this exotic country. Applications are available online and hard copy forms can be found at City Hall and the Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. The deadline to apply is Thursday, March 28th, so get started on this application today. The Sister City Student Exchange, a great opportunity for the trip of a lifetime. Sayonara. Many roads in low-lying areas in Midland are quickly covered by water during yearly flooding events. If you come upon road-closed barricades while driving, locate an alternate route. Most flood-related injuries and deaths occur when unsuspecting citizens drive on flooded roadways. Your vehicle can become buoyant in as little as two feet of water, causing you to lose control of your vehicle. A simple way to avoid flood-related accidents is to follow this simple rule. Turn around, don't drown. Also, do not walk through flowing water. 
currents can be deceptive. Six inches of water can knock you off your feet. For more information, visit www.midland-mi.org. Batter up! There still may be snow on the ground, but at Midland Parks and Recreation, they're already thinking about playing ball. Softball league play doesn't begin until the end of April, but if you ask recreation manager Marcy Post, ball season is already in full swing. Starting now, you can come into our office, you can go online, and you can start registering your teams. Uh, March is kind of the registration period, and then April is kind of when we say it's time to go. We meet with all of the managers, and we have lots of uh, options for people to play. We have, of course, co-ed slow pitch, men's fast pitch, men's modified pitch, and we're offering something new this year, which is going to be really cool. It's a church co-ed, so that we can offer uh, individuals who are members of churches as couples to come out and play together. So that's something new that we're going to try this year. The Midland Softball Association sets the fees, rules, and schedule and assists the City of Midland in administering the program. We have a great relationship with the MSA. We've been working with them for over 30 years to administer softball. They set the rules, they set the fees, and they basically work with us to administer the program to the community. So a great relationship and one that's been working together very well. Um, this year, actually, we're offering online registration, which is something new. Um, it's an opportunity for managers to be able to put all of their players online and to be able to get players on who may otherwise not be able to play because they need to sign a roster to come, in, and to come into our office. Sometimes isn't always the, the best you know, way for people to get in here. So we're excited about the ability to do the online, and they can go to the, the City of Midlands website or to the Midland Softball Association's website and uh, just provide another avenue and another technologically advanced way for people to get involved with softball. And if softball is not your thing, how about a little kickball? Yep, just like in elementary school. Every year we double in size, and so I'm hoping for more than 12 teams this year. I think it'll be a great, a great league. Uh, we started two years ago, we had four teams, and of course last year we had eight. So it's a way for people to get together on a Sunday afternoon uh, we play double headers, depending on how many teams we have in the league, typically double headers. And in each game is about 45 minutes. So it's an opportunity for groups of people to get together. It's fun, it's relaxed, and there's no pressure. Another league sport offered through the City of Midland that might spike your interest is beach volleyball. Uh, beach volleyball has been around for a long time. We offer uh, two v two players, two two people on a team, four and six. Um, we have women's uh, fours, and that's just women's leagues. And then we also offer the six um, co-ed. So an opportunity in any avenue to get involved with the beach volleyball. It's all played at Stratford Woods, which is out on Ashman. And the courts are beautiful. If you've never been out there, you have to take a look. We redid them a few years ago, and um, those have been received really well. And with the addition of last year, we created some competitive leagues that offer uh, referees, and then we saw the recreational. People are able to choose what kind of place. City of Midland League sports are not just limited to city residents. If you want to learn more about how to play on a league in the City of Midland, visit the City of Midland website. What do you geek? That's the question the Grace A. Dow Memorial Library has been asking the community because the library wants to support what you're interested in. It's also the theme for happenings in March and April. Some highlights. On Sunday, March 17th, teens can get moving with Zumba at 2 p.m. in the library auditorium. On Friday, March 22nd at 4 p.m. in Youth Services, you can see what our children geek in the annual Children's Art Reception. The Eating for Health series offers two events in March, on Wednesday, March 13th at 7 p.m. in the lounge, you can attend a lecture about the local food movement and organic farming. On Wednesday, March 20th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium, you can watch the documentary film, Forks Over Knives. On Wednesday, April 25th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium, Abraham Lincoln will be here. Actually, it's a Lincoln impersonator who will talk about the abolition of slavery. Find out about these events and more by calling 837-3430 or by going to the library's website. Here are the dates and times of some upcoming city meetings. Parks and Recreation Commission, Tuesday, March 5th, 7 p.m. City Council, Monday, March 11th, 7 p.m. 
Planning Commission, Tuesday, March 12th, 7 p.m. Downtown Development Authority, Wednesday, March 13th, 3 p.m. Meetings take place at Midland City Hall. Most meetings are cable cast and can be watched live or replayed on MGTV 96 or via on-demand video on the city's website. Midland's Board of Review will hear appeals on property tax valuations during the week of March 11th. Call 837-3334 for information or to schedule an appointment. Looking ahead to April, April is a busy budget month here at the City of Midland. Watch for the City Manager's proposed budget to be delivered on April 8th with budget public hearings and work sessions taking place in April and May. Thanks for joining us for the March edition of City in 15. We'll see you in April.